What's up, guys? Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Welcome back to another installment here of Chasing the Natty Limit. Hitting shoulders and arms here. Started off the workout with upright rows. That was the only shoulder workout I did. After that, went into tricep flat bar pushdown. And then I went to standing barbell curl. After that, did the... Something different, actually. I did dumbbell skull crushers, which I haven't done those in quite a while. And then I wrapped things up with a new thing as well. Barbell reverse curls. And those were very, very challenging for me. I think I had like five pound plates on each side. And really trying to keep strict form on those. And it was freaking hard. I started off with the 10s on each side. And yeah, it was very difficult. Now, this workout was probably a week and a half ago. Quite behind on videos here. Again, work has been kicking my ass. Working 50 plus hours a week, nonstop. And when I get home, I'm able to put these videos together. That's the easy part, honestly. The hard part is coming up with engaging topics, I guess you can say, to talk to you guys about. Things that actually have meaning. And today I had a good topic in mind. And that is that everything in life, everything in my life, everything in your life, everything in everyone's life is a choice. You always have a choice. A lot of people think they don't, but they do. You always have a choice. Now, this, this stems from philosophical readings. I mean, I think I first read about the power of choice. You know, a man has a choice. When I read Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, if you guys don't know anything about that book, it's tremendous. It's basically, it's basically just his notes, his writings, and there's some really good stuff in there. If you guys haven't read that, have never heard of it, definitely look into it. It was very beneficial for me. I've read it, I think, like twice now. I love that book. It's an easy read. It's not, like, difficult. It's good stuff. Definitely get your hands on a copy if you can. But he talks about how you always have a choice. You can either choose to do the right thing or the wrong thing. And I'm not going to get too heavy on the subject and talk about what's right, what's wrong. That's like, that would take hours upon hours. It would take days. I'm not going to go into that. But I'm just going to use a few examples. The first one being a quite simple one. That you have a choice whether you want to get your workout in or not. And I'm not trying to brag or anything right now, but I'm a good example of this. I've started working a lot more. I'm working, I said before, 50 plus hours a week now. And you see my brother right here, but I'm working 50 plus hours a week right now. And I'm still finding the time to get my workouts in. I'm not slacking off. Yes, I come home. I'm tired. Okay. On days that I know I'm working at my night job, I have to wake up at 5 a.m. and get a workout in. It's it's tough. Sometimes I'll sleep in, miss my chance to work out, and I have to put it off to the next day, but I always end up getting back on track the next day. So my point here is I still have that choice. Even though I'm working way more now, my schedule is not as opened as it used to be, I'm still making the choice to work out because I want to. That's my choice. If I was lazy or I didn't love it that much, I didn't care that much, I could be like, oh, I don't have time for that anymore. And you see a lot of guys do this. And, you know, if you really value building yourself up, building a great physique, you will find the time. The same thing goes for your diet, 
Okay. I'm again, I hate to use myself as an example here, but I don't work from home. I have to cook my food either in the morning after I work out before I go into work. That means breakfast and lunch. I have to pack it in hydro flask thermoses, not sponsored by hydro flask. I just think their thermoses are awesome. <laughs> they keep my food warm for like seven hours. But besides that, I got to pack my food in two of those, put six scrambled eggs in one, ground beef and rice in the other one. And <clears throat> that's my choice though. I can take the easy way out. I can be like, all right, I'll just eat what the other guys are eating at the job site. Let's say they want McDonald's that day for lunch. I can be like, all right, I'll just get a fucking Big Mac. But no, I don't, I don't want to put that crap in my body. And again, that's the easy way out. But no, I'm deciding to wake up earlier, get my workout in, and then cook my meals for the day. I know it takes more work. I'm willing to do that work because I know it's better for me and it's going to help me with my gains, my mental health, physical health, pretty much everything. My performance when it comes to working, working out, whatever. It's just going to help me feel way better than if I chose to just get takeout food every day. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to get at here. Everything's a choice. And I don't want to get political here, but when COVID happened, the pandemic, there were a lot of people, and I don't care what side you're on when it comes to getting vaccinated, I, this is not about that, okay? But a lot of people were told that if you don't get vaccinated, you can't keep your job. And most people, instead of trying to find loopholes and fight the system, because there were loopholes to get around it, most people just obeyed, okay? And again, this has nothing to do with whether you're you know, you're, I don't know. I don't even know the two sides. Honestly, I don't give a shit. I'm not political. I'm just saying this is something that I picked up when this was happening. People just were like, okay, I'll just get the uh, the vaccine or whatever because I'm going to lose my job if I don't. Instead of kind of fighting, seeing all their options. They felt like they didn't have a choice is what I'm trying to get at here. But again, Going back to Marcus Aurelius and meditations, you always have a choice. Always. Never feel like you don't have one. That's always what you're pretty much always going to have. Aurelius talks about how one day, you know, your strength may, you may leave you. Your eyesight may leave you. You're not going to be as strong as you once were when you're young but guess what you're still going to have? You're still going to have a choice. And I think that's what's so powerful about all of this. It's just that we always have a choice. So the second half of this video is going to be a brief discussion, just a few minutes on purpose versus pleasure. Now, I first kind of started thinking about this idea back when I was in like county college or whatever a few years ago. And I was taking this ethics course and the professor, he was very passionate about the one topic that he taught us. Mostly the other ones he didn't give a shit. But the one topic that he did have a lot of passion for was what is true happiness? And this kind of led into man's purpose and a life of pleasure versus a life of purpose or whatever. Because let's be honest here, happiness and purpose are the same thing, in my opinion. That is, if you don't agree, comment down below. But I do think purpose and happiness, they work hand in hand. And I'm talking true happiness here. 
not happiness that comes from pleasure. But we we had these discussions in this class and, you know, no one really knew what true purpose was or true happiness. Not even I did. I, I don't even think I, I know now, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's very hard to say what is your true purpose. And I do think purpose is individual. Your purpose is going to be a lot different than mine. Like no shit on that, right? But I know for a fact that living a life of purpose will lead to true happiness when living a life of pleasure, meaningless pleasure, will not lead to that. They're opposites, is what I'm trying to say here. So pleasure nowadays, it's pretty much just watching porn, okay, playing video games, consuming all this content, not really doing anything yourself, just watching other people do things, you know, drinking all the time, smoking weed, doing drugs, uh, hookup culture, you know, hooking up with people, but never actually making a commitment to someone, trying to build something meaningful. All these things can be, they're all part of that. Okay. They're all part of the meaningless pleasure that leads to short-term happiness. And it's just not going to lead to long-term happiness. You see it time and time again. People who live a life and do all those things, or even just a few of those things in their lives, they're never happy when they get older. They never are. They never will be. Because they don't know how to prioritize what really matters. What their purpose is. And I can't tell you what your purpose is. Okay, but I guarantee you, if you cut out all that bullshit, you cut out the shitty music, the porn, the movies that are giving you bad ideas, you know, just basically shitty movies, shitty content, the video games, you cut all that crap out, I'm telling you right now, it'll put you on the path to maybe realizing what your purpose is, realizing what matters to you, what you want in life. Just try it out. I'm telling you right now, try it out. But guys, that pretty much wraps it up here. I'm going to go to bed because it's like 930 right now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.